we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rock, that's why we rock, that's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rock, that's why we rock, that's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rock, that's why we rock, that's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rockin' with him. That's why we rock, that's why we rock, that's why we rockin' with him. Now let me begin, top of the morning to ya See it's been a minute since I had to pin this a warning to ya See it's not a threat, but I'm telling you please use caution You have entered the core of my mind and everything in it ain't lovely and awesome Now look in the mirror man, what do you see? A rap actor, the color of me That Antonio and Global listeners, right now we're about to take a break Yes we are, we're about to take a break because I'm stepping away from the mic for a minute The man, the man himself, I'm talking about Mr. Legacy City is here yeah, in yeah. the house Yeah, <laughs> yeah What's going on world, it's your boy Legacy Cities CEO of Street Legend LLC, where you know the movement is deeper than the music, or the music is deeper than the movement. It's like the movement is deeper than the music, where we affect the community as well. You know what I'm talking about? So tune in. Got a lot to talk about. All right, all right. He's gonna tune in, and but brother, I'm gonna get. You, you got to do the rap. You got to do the uh, rap. Okay, okay. Give it to me. Give let me it see. To let me see. Uh, something real quick. <clears throat> They be like, fresh out the pot, that's a night about the blue flames. They don't understand the bottom of the map is too same. So we go to church saying like we on death row, on the third row, praying for a benediction. Many people are already deceased before the benediction. My prediction to people, they need forgiving, forgiving. Things have never been written, written. They're forbidden fruits that have been bitten, bitten. And I ain't talking about things that are written by Nas. Talking about Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. That's how it was written in the beginning. These people, they still seen it and act like they ain't winning. Charlie Sheenan. What I'm trying to say, go to school, make straight A's. Don't be in the streets. So out here getting straight A's. Most people don't want to talk about it, but faith come by hearing, hearing, coming by the word of God. That's not too lame, but it's hard to hear God when you're talking to true religion. That's that two chain. Bound. <laughs> right here in KROV. That's yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy City. I mean, he's got it. He got it. I can't even get that. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Turn me on. You better try to keep on going. Mr. Legacy, yes sir, yes, talk sir. to us. And now you've been doing this for quite a while. Yes, I um, started doing just music um, when I was the age of six. And uh, well, I started writing at the age of six. I learned how to read and write at three. Six, by the time I learned the power, the, the persuasion of words by six. It's just how I was taught, you know, read, learn how to write, you know, don't be, don't have a lack of knowledge, know how to put things together, know how to articulate, be able to conversate with everybody, reach everybody on um, just a dynamic level. So I've been doing this since I was six. And like I said, it's just been a, from there, it's been a long ride. It's been a long ride, you know. Well, it's, you know, it's amazing because you be, you you know Kirk Franklin has his music, but you can take it into the nightclub. Yeah, definitely, definitely, and definitely. then you can take it into the church. Of course, of and, course. And you know when he came out, they're like, "Oh, where's this brother coming from?" 
Yeah, of course they, they call it radical. You know, uh, I'm from the South, so I'm from Columbus, Georgia, in the Phoenix City, Alabama area. So you know all those deep-rooted churches, the AMEs, the mm -hmm. Baptists, the you know, <laughs> Church of God in Christ, of course. All the whole, just whole genres of churches. So there was, you no know, a lot of traditional st uh, stuff. So, you know, they, the people believe... Where did he come from? You know, where he come from? Oh, my God. You know, they believe you play football, you go to hell. So, you know what I'm saying? So imagine how it is when Kurt Brand come out with stone. Hey, hey. Now let me begin, top of the morning to ya See it's been a minute since I had the pen a warning to ya See it's not a threat, but I'm telling you please use caution You have entered the core of my mind and everything in it ain't lovely and all So now look in the mirror man, what do you see? A rapper and actor, the color of me See me rocking these shows and I do it for free The bed for your bed, won't you buy my CD? A comma for comfort, I'm taking a breath The stress of the ministry's breaking my neck I grind and I play but I get no respect for some juice and a hot dog They be like, man You know, it, and it, you know, and it's amazing because you say that because time is changing, changing is making time, and time is bringing about a different way of thinking. Yes, sir. And because of the way of thinking, if you don't, you know, everybody wants to go to the young people's level, bring the people up to your level. Of course. You know, and you know, you did something at a church not uh, not too long ago, and I mean, brother, I mean, you you went secular. But then you turned around and took it to the gospel, and then you went back to, hey, let me go back to your level, you know, but hey, come back here, because I got word for you. Because one thing that I was taught, uh, just, uh, I was, I had a mentor, and you know what I'm saying? he was telling me, like, understand this, Jesus spoke in parables. He mm -hmm. never spoke the same language to anybody. You know what I'm saying? The lady at the well probably couldn't understand the language with the lady with the issue of blood. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, he couldn't talk to Luke, who was a doctor, the way he talked to, you know, <laughs> Peter as a disciple who was out headed. Okay. So he had to talk in different dynamics to reach different people. So, you know, you can't talk everybody the same and expect everybody to get it. So when you're talking about you may be dripping in anointing in church and somebody who never been to church before, like, what in the world is anointing? What are you talking about? Don't be pouring on nothing on me. But you know what I'm saying? So you got to reach people on their different levels so you know now the people now the ones that are listening right now i mean because they have no idea what we talking about can we can you do that can you can you go back to do what you did at our church oh shit okay let me take like i'm gonna I'm build it up it's like this they try to play me now but don't forget they had the cameo playing that candy at your mom prom and not realizing that they wanted that starburst to milk your milky way to spend a hundred grand just to sneak her all night in your jolly ran and now you end up with ike and mike that gave you a jawbreaker with a sour face for eating no lemon heads what i'm trying to say is now flip that over once you got saved you said the common taste to see that the lord is good and bless the man that trusts us in him slim didn't understand the paraphrase that we're speaking Gang. <laughs> so yeah, this is the thing. You take something. Um, everybody know cameo is and word up, hey, etc. But you know, you put the, the mixing in with scripture and make it delivery for those people. For you bridge the gap between the season saints and the not so season saints. Okay. You know. Yeah. And that's what it's about bridging that gap. Yeah. Well, you miss Michael Jackson. I was expecting for you to bring all that in. Oh, you want me to bring the Michael? <laughs> you know, the Michael Jackson scheme. Just you know. Easy. The Michael Jackson scheme, easy. They want to know who bad, sad. You're just another thriller. Speaking of thriller, I'm trying to give you to the microphone and speak straight to your head. Most people are dead before the benediction. If you're looking for a thriller, that means you're the walking dead. Dance to this type of rhythm of the beat. Do you remember the time when you had time to give your life back to Christ and you didn't? Or do you remember the time when he was asking no question and you said, leave me alone? Or do you remember the time when you was out of sight? Sin is colorless, so it don't matter if you're black or white. Can we continue with this mic? Do you remember the time when he tried to 
that, that CD called History, telling his history about his story. Do you remember that time when he was a dancing machine and he did you wrong but came back humbly <laughs> and he made it easy as A, B, C, one, two, three. <laughs> Cancer. Cancer is a word that strikes fear in the hearts of many. Cancer is a bully and doesn't fight fairly. With it comes mental, physical, and financial battles. But there's a word that's more powerful. Hope. Put away cancer desires to inspire hope and make an impact on the cancer community. Help us raise funds for our Circle of Hope Awards, which is a financial donation for cancer warriors. How? Call 972-746-9327. Visit us on Facebook or visit us on our website for information and for registration. Together, we can take a stand to put away cancer and inspire hope through giving. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you, when you when you first started that, you know, what one of the things that came to my mind was Thriller, yeah, the, <laughs> the Walking Dead. I'm like, oh, you in sin? <laughs> you know, it's sad, man. It's got a lot of zombies that sit in church and be. <laughs> San Antonio, you listen to the KROV on Raver Gospel Express, and we have uh, the man himself. Yes, We're talking sir. about Mr. Legacy City right here. He got issues, bro. He said that everything's going from Kaepernickle, number seven, on the 49ers, to I don't know when, bro. I mean, what are we going to do about this? I'm trying to keep my bullets from flying Retaliation is an emotional motivation My salvation is a spiritual elevation The generation is facing heavy discrimination The pigment of my sin I mean the pigment of my They still tell us a lot. Wow. So spin the whip. Hey, what are you gonna? What do you have for us today? Um, I have a track list of stuff, man. Um, me first. I got a track list of stuff. I got songs galore that I want to share with everybody that probably not familiar with my work. You know, a lot of people say, "Yeah, I heard of Legacy City." He's very controversial, but the truth is controversial. Okay. You know, people are proud to be. Uh, and we are, I'm just being honest with you. We are proud of everything except things that matter sometimes. And when I say that, like, you have some people that are proud ministers in church and they're horrible fathers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, <laughs> everybody loves you. When last time you seen your kid? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, even when I'm a guy, even when, I'm, when people are paying tithes, people are faithful with their 10%, mm -hmm. but won't even support for school products. Come on. They won't get shoes and they won't get a bad minimum. You know, know what I'm saying? And then complain about child support, but they can deliver a great sermon in church. Mm. So I'm proud of myself on being, you know, I'm a father, man of God, and then everything else follows that. Okay. So, well, brother, let's get it. You got it. <laughs> Lord, please forgive me for the way that I'm living. They cost to my own mind. Freedom from prison, spiritual jail cell, surrounded by hell, gun down, black mail from a cop, bullet shell. Preach steady, Mac, cause you don't preach like that. You see the block struggle, you don't reach like that. Screaming, Jesus, Jesus, you don't preach like that. We dying in these streets, won't you preach about that? Church members sneak dissing, Lord forgive them. I pop with my weapon, I'm slinging swords like I'm cold, man. People dying from disobedient, like they old, man. Old man, what you saying? Lord, please keep me grinding, profound. I'm surrounded by people that screaming, they love me. Quick to bury me and throw dirt right above me. My daughter is the essence of my brother. My life is so sacrificial when it comes to melody. Here's a melody, trying to keep from catching felonies. I know you preaching that Jesus Christ has risen. So half the statistics and death in prison. Given a different way of living. Only certain fruits are forbidden. Way before now, this was written. I had a dream of building an empire, spitting fire. Then I met Shemaya, spitting knowledge deeper than my desire. I'm looking at my self reflection, feeling self neglect. Lord, please forgive me for the way that I'm living. It cost me greater to my own mind. Freedom from prison, spiritual jail cell. Surrounded by hell, gun down, black mail from a cop, bullet shell. Preach steady, Mac, cause you don't preach like that. You see the block struggle, you don't reach like that. Screaming, Jesus, Jesus, you don't preach like that. We dying in these streets, won't you preach about that?
<laughs> oh, uh, before we start, before we start right now, here on KROV, get the hook up. Keeping it real, keeping it real. <laughs> All the way. <laughs> All the way. And, yo, y'all tune in. This song is called Daddy's Baby Girl. It's my, fix, featuring my brother, Nick, since the way, you know, out of North Carolina doing this thing. So, y'all enjoy Daddy's Baby Girl. Life, I embrace death. Nothing else seem to matter in this crazy world. I give you all of me because you daddy's baby girl, my queen, my princess, my angel. And I done seen everything from every angle. I do what I gotta do to bring you up in this crazy world. I love you dearly because you daddy's baby girl. I'm legacy. In each year in the United States, 34,598 people lose their lives due to suicide. And for youth, young adults from 10 to 24, each year 4,600 students, college, high school, even kids commit suicide with gunfire, pills, drugs, slip wrists, and bullying. Help us prevent suicide. 1-800-SUICIDE. For military veterans, it's 1-800-273. Talk and deal with suicide thoughts. Come back home, immigrate, you're not alone. 1 800 273. Talk. Press 1, they always dead on the line 24 hours. It's not worth it taking a life. said a little something you said a little something in the song I'm talking about daddies that don't know how to be a father simply because they never had a father yeah definitely of course because I mean we are I mean it's, it's funny to me like I think all coaches they have missing fathers out the home but just certain coaches are blasted on TV or imaging on TV more or less people don't know how strong imaging on movies or TV is you know um, a lot of people credit Bill Cosby for uh, being the first person to bring a black family in the home, but that's not true. Mm -hmm. By far, that's not true. A decade before the Cosby, you got to think about Esther Rose from the Good Time Show would not do the show without implementing a black father because they wanted to make it a single family home. Mm. So she almost walked away from the show in the beginning before it even started. Okay. Before they agreed to let James Amos um, come on the show. Okay. So we grow up and we see that a lot. So me as having a child, you know, the state of Texas don't see child support in the physical form, like at the appointments, at the schools, at the meetings. They only see it in cash format, monetized format, which is sad, you know. So, so, so wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to Esther and James. <laughs> so if Esther hadn't have did it, there wouldn't have been no dynamite. There wouldn't have been no dynamite. It would have been, you know, single single black woman, three kids, and a wild teenager that said dynamite. But the dynamics of having a father and that, it made it easier to accept that. And even with having, even then, they put uh, strains on the father in the show to every, they gave all the knowledge to the youngest son, so it's easier to accept for America. Well, what about my three sons? You know, so uh, what about your three sons? My, let's <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I'm talking about the movie. The movie. Oh, I actually <laughs> haven't seen it. You haven't seen My Three Sons? No, I haven't. Oh, well, this is a father who had three sons. Huh. And they, uh, but the thing, in, you know, but what we're talking about is how that the, the, the family structure. Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, in the home, and because I don't want this just to, well, he's just talking about the black folks. No, I'm not. But, uh, let's clear it up. I mean, but we're, it, this is my thing. You know what? I'm not going to apologize for anything. Because you know what? <laughs> we, 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 we talk about, you know, everything else. And then when we talk about black families, we got to be careful and, and walk on how we say things. They quick to show us we the highest statistic in prisons. Okay. They quick to show us that, you know what I'm saying, you know, black churches are earning this, we doing this, and we should, they, they quick to show everything else. So I'm not finna tiptoe around talking about how black families and whatever, even when the families ain't together, like myself, I'm not with my daughter's mom. But one thing my daughter's mom don't have to worry about is me being a bad father. Cause man, that's my, that's my homie and my daughters, that's my world. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Check. <laughs> Check. Bro, just a few weeks ago, you were happy taking your baby to school. Oh, you, you know what I'm talking about? I didn't even get back with you about radio stuff. I'm like, yo, I'll catch up with you after this is over with. You know what I'm saying? If you really want me here, then, you know, I'll, you know, and I appreciate you for understanding that. You mm -hmm. know, um, at the end of the day, everybody else see Legacy City. She just see Daddy feed me, Daddy change me, Daddy, and let me crawl around and mess up the house. And everybody else can have you after that. But she comes first because of the fact that I don't want her to ever feel like my life is, you know, superior to everything that she needs. Even that's from now. I talk to her. I read to her. Same thing that her mom do. So we make sure that, you know what I'm saying, she's understanding that she don't have to worry about anything because she's love. And she has a strong man, alpha male, whatever you want to call it, in the, in the house. Okay. So at the end of the day, she got somebody that she can lean on. Drop on us. Drop on us. Another, another one of your... Let's see, you want a song or you want a freestyle? What you want? Hey, man, you got the flow because either way you go, you got a message. Oh, you, okay, we rock. <laughs> My bitch is my bitch, my life is my life I see my deepest scar, but you don't know my sacrifice Temporary heaven, I'm surrounded by hell Incarcerated to my own mind, I'm trying to post bail And truth to myself, even though I know sex sell Mix it with the gospel, watch me exhale only time would tell, I give my life to Jesus Christ, tell me where my soul dwells I gave my life to Jesus Christ, the things got harder I saw the devil with so many faces, I almost caught so many cases Loaded bases, dreams that I'm chasing, make religion sound racist Been so many places, I heard so many sermons over the pit They pulled, then I heard every sermon, now I gotta get paid in full Never projected a perfect place, cause the preacher tried to use control Man, that cat crazy, a lack of knowledge is the reason why we perish, sneak dissing by your local preacher while I'm singing Paris Didn't understand the meaning of anointing, felt so disappointed, kind of embarrassed Bishop Napoleon Turner talking to me sideways Bishop, I'm toting the burner, cocking it sideways 16 in the van, though, church is not in the street, so you wouldn't understand, though A scripture, just a scripture, if you're not moving, that's what I'm saying, bro. My bitch is my bitch my life is my life I see my deepest scar but you don't know my sacrifice Temporary heaven, I'm surrounded by hell Incarcerated to my own mind, I'm trying to post bail Staying true to myself, even though I know sex sells Mix it with the gospel, watch me exhale Only time will tell, I give my life to Jesus Christ uh, Okay, look, it's amazing how people try to shy back I told myself Spike Lee should have did the right thing when it came to Chirac. But just like any other thing, you make monies off Chirac. Shy away from making those racks about people's poverty. And this for my people in the CHI. I, far from being shy. It's whenever, whatever, however you want to get it. But the truth of the matter is, y'all take advantage of people's biz. What I mean by that, somebody else's misery is your happiness. So Legacy City ain't having this. So this havoc that we repping, people talking about apologies. Excuse me, if the mob is that deep, it's only havoc left because they lost their apologies. What I'm trying to say is they're probably trying to stay above the poverty line because they probably line up about everything that's encountered. People kill me talking about how they do well and swell, but fish your weight. That's that Jonah. In the belly of that fish, you must dismiss what you've been dissed because things in you running from your calling or you just ain't picking up the phone. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
there you go. <laughs> now, for those of you that don't understand what's going on, and I'm like, well, the brother could have some music on it. Well, hey, he's coming back because he's going to play some music right now, but he's still got a message. Still <laughs> got a message. Yo, here we go. My City Shedding Tears, one of my favorite songs out here on my album, Reason to Live. I knew I should have listened to the voice in my head. A year has come and gone and you still hit up my phone talking about how you miss me. Speaking French, wishing again for a we. The cops have failed yet another victim with no conviction. I knew I should have listened, those were lies that you said. You're quick to play the victim, but who is the real victim, me or you? The things you say and do all turn out to be untrue. Lie to yourself and lie to me. What is there left to believe? I knew I should have listened amidst all the tears that I shed. You showed me what I wanted to see, blind to all the signs of what would be. You, and we dying in the streets, we praying to the Lord. We out here seeking peace, heart full of scar. Watch the mark of the beast between the preachers and the police. Somebody got a feast. While we dying in the streets, we praying to the Lord while we out here seeking peace. Heart full of scars, Watch the mark of the beast between the preachers and the police. Somebody got a feast. <laughs> yeah, you looking at me. Hey, this is Keontae Latif, and you listening to the number one station in the nation with Ambassador Lockhart. Ram of Gospel Express on KROV FM. Stay tuned and be blessed. Be blessed. Oh, yeah, San Antonio, you're listening to the station right here. K-R-O-V, Rhema Gospel Express. I'm your host, Elder James Lockhart, and with my man, Legacy City, yes, right sir. here in the house. Well, we have a few more minutes. You have a few more minutes. Would you like to share a little word with uh, somebody that's listening right now that trying to find their way in life? Yeah, that's too easy. The first thing about, look, you got to have a plan. But in order to have a plan, you got to be true to yourself. Being true to yourself means being honest with yourself. Know your worth. When you be honest to yourself and know your worth, and understand this, it's not going to be cool to be you sometimes. It's not going to be cool to be yourself. But always be yourself. How you be different? Be yourself, because we are made different. Don't let nobody put you in a predicament that you don't want to be in. You got to make it work for yourself. Stop having excuses. Get up, dust yourself off. Failing is not the worst thing. The worst thing is not trying, not having faith in yourself. You got to be like David. You got to motivate yourself sometimes because your friends and your family are going to be there to motivate you at times. You got to step up to the plate and do it yourself. And, you know, faith without works is dead. In other words, don't have a blueprint without no construction work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The real talk. So you got to have the faith. You work like it's on you and have the faith that God going to do his part. That's, that's all it takes. Small thing to a John, I can overcome this Laughing at your head to sit back and watch you coming Small thing to a John, I can overcome this King of the day, got the law, lots of faith hey. Small thing to a John, I can overcome this Laughing at your lane, why you stand on my name hey. Small thing to a John, I can overcome this The truth stand alone, that's the reason for this song I got my braids and my two still Small thing to a John, I can overcome this. Laugh 
laughing at your head to sit back and watch the comments. All right, San Antonio Globalistas, we've been talking with Mr. Legacy himself. You've been listening to him, and hey, he'll be back. He'll be back uh, with much, much more uh, in a few weeks. And I pray, but I get no respect for some juice and a hot dog. They be like, next. I can't do this thing without.